introducing to you first. Fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 84.1 kilograms and trains under Dylan Andrews at a DTV Academy with an amateur record of one win for one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the cage, Brandon Riley. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 83.9 kilograms and trains under Pasha Stoiler at a Southside Training Center with an undefeated amateur record of one win for zero defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Kelly all aboard Tate. And when our action begins, a referee in charge, Claire Fry. Kelly Tate in the red corner, Brendan Rowley fighting out of the blue corner. Claire Fryer signals us underway. Eternal amateur middleweight division. Here we go. You can see Brendan Rowley, such a towering frame centre cage, Ben. Yeah, he's a big boy. And you expect like a little less volume in, in these encounters. You know, the, the stakes are a lot higher when we go up the weight. So don't be... Um, too impatient. That was a beautiful level change body shot there. Beautiful from Ryan. He's clearly very comfortable on the feet. He's pressing the action here once Sorry, again. Sorry, uh, Kelly. This matchup apparently nice brought to you by prop number 12, Irish Whiskey, and Kelly Tate, very elusive early on. I'll tell you what um, concerns me a little bit about Brendan Riley is his chin is up in the air a little bit. And against a guy who looks to have solid hands, that can be dangerous. This might be where he wants to fight, push it up against the cage. He's got an overhook. They switched on underhook now. Kelly's reversed the position. Nice head control. He's got the frame. He's going to look to do some damage from here. I like this position a lot. Well, at face value, you'd have to say Brendan's the stronger man, but a technical reversal from Kelly Tate. Put that down to the work he's been doing inside Southside Training Centre. Yeah, and I think face value is a very dangerous way to, um, to judge people. Especially in this sport. Indeed it is, Ben. Have you met Stephen Ersing? I have. I have. And I would dare say he is stronger than me. He could kill four grown men, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> and he's only little. Oh, big there's right that big shot I was Riley. talking about. Well, they both landed at the same oh, time. And he shot the double. Like ben. You know what impresses me about these guys now? They, they've got the wherewithal to shoot when they're in trouble. Like, Okay, it hasn't worked for him this time, but he's bought himself a little bit of time to recover there. Very smart from Brendan. But I did say at the start that I was a bit worried about where his chin was with the guy as he's as good looking a striker as um, Kelly. Speaking about striking, look no further than the corner of Kelly Tate, Uncle Diz. Giving his man the instruction to continue to stay on the outside and pick his shots. Massive right hand landed by Ron. Round one. I think kicking's a good idea because it's just the, hat, the elbow position of um, Riley. His elbows are a little bit out, so those body kicks are a good read on the fly there, I'd say, by um, Tate. Absolutely. He's going to look for head position here, I'd say. Fight the hat, that outside hand. Yeah, he got the head position. They're off the cage, separation, back to the hand. Riley going to the well again He's with that right hand, and he lands almost, I think it was three clean, straight right hands down the middle. And again, yeah, Riley's ben, a gamer. He is indeed. And and again, great reactions. You knew you were going to say it. I know I cut you off. Sorry. No, no need to apologize. Here at the Southport Sharks, and here we go, says Claire Fryer. More of the same, please, gentlemen. I'd like to see um, Tate use a few more kicks. Just, just, he's head hunting a little bit. And I feel like it, oh, he's hit him on the chin. I feel like if he set them up a bit better, he's going to get cleaner ones. Smart move from Riley again, under a bit of pressure on the feet, close the distance. You buy just, yourself some time from getting um, smashed in the face. You can see the aggression from Riley. Oh, he's cut him open as well. He does, that's a big cut then. Yeah, and, and, and it's, Riley looks worried. And now he's going to the body. Oh, he went body head. That's smart. He's chasing after him. I wouldn't mind a double leg there as he starts chasing. 
Riley continuing to press the action, but it's Kelly Tate. And look, he's found a position where he can take a couple of breaths, which is clever. So he's, he's biding his time, he's using this position to gather himself a little bit, but you can't pause for too long. Kelly's got the head position now. Big knee from Riley. He's not out of this fight, you know. Absolutely not. His eyebrow is hanging off, however. Goodness, there is some serious swelling above the left eye, Brendan Riley. And Tate is cut too. But what's more impressive is that he's the oh, one that presses the action. Him. There's a oh, big right hand by the, Kelly Tate. Oh, I would like this fight to stop here. But, but Riley's... He's got other ideas, Ben. Riley's just proved me completely wrong, but that's fair enough. How tough is Brendan Riley? Mate, he hits another he's right like hand, a zombie. But he's got to fight back. He is fighting back. He's clever. He's got that clinch again. He's going to buy himself some time. Oh, my. He's going to the body now. He's going to open up that. Oh, that straight down the middle. Riley. No, he's on top. lands a huge it, right hand. Down was, goes Riley. Ben, go ahead. It was only Tate that held him up. He was going to fall over and he fell into it. But now he's clinging on again. This man, I don't know what this man's made of. You cannot question the heart of Brendan Riley, but he's got to advance his position. He continues to strike from the bottom. Tate from the top. Clear so the been stopped. She's called it off. And Kelly Tate finishes fight, Brendan Riley in round two. My goodness. I'm not being funny, T. And I know, like, I'm biased, but it doesn't get any better than this. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee in charge has caught a stop to this fight at 2 minutes and 15 seconds of round number 2. Declaring your winner via TKO in the red corner, Kelly!